Welcome to our data science tutorial. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from one of our viewers. They want to know the best way to convert sparse matrices from Sklern's count vectorizer and TFIDF transformer into a pandas data frame with each big RAM and its corresponding frequency and TFIDF score on separate rows. Let's dive into the details of this challenge and explore how we can achieve this efficiently. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. Let's get to convert sparse matrices from count vectorizer and TFDF transformer into a pandas data frame with separate rows for each big RAM, we first need to ensure we have our text data prepared. We'll start by importing the necessary libraries and loading our data. Next, we will clean the text data and generate big RAMs using count vectorizer. This will allow us to create a document term matrix that counts the frequency of each big RAM. After creating the document term matrix, we will calculate the TFIDF scores using TFIDF transformer. This will give us the importance of each big RAM in the documents. Now we need to convert the sparse matrices into a format that allows us to create a new data frame. We'll extract the BigRAM feature names and combine them with their corresponding frequencies and TFIDF scores. Finally, we can save the new data frame back to the SQL database or use it for further analysis. This data frame now contains each big RAM with its corresponding frequency and TFIDF score in separate rows. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To convert count vectorizer and TFF transformer sparse matrices into separate pandas data frame rows, start by capturing big RAM names using count vectorizer's get feature names method. Next, create a sparse matrix with count vectorizer and transform it into a dense data frame, adding the original data's number column. Then use the melt function to reshape the data frame from wide to long format, filtering for big RAM matches. Repeat the process for the TEF transformer to create a long format data frame for TFIDF values. Finally, merge the big RAM and TFIDF data frames to get a complete view of the data. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I hope you have a good one. Cheers.